hypnosis is basically not what people think it is. Um, what you do is uh, you don't go to sleep, you don't make anybody do anything they don't want to do. You basically put them in a theta state of mind, which is you're not asleep and you're not awake. You're in an altered state of mind. And it basically has to do with your subconscious mind. Uh, when you're in this state, um, it's easy to meditate, it's easy to uh, relax. Uh, hypnosis normally goes with creative imagination and uh, it can be used for many things, for example, curing bad habits, getting rid of things that um, happened to you in childhood, for example, which um, the, sub the conscious doesn't remember, but the subconscious has a way of preserving and uh, we use hypnosis to basically block the conscious so the subconscious can help us get rid of all of these things. Well, actually, hypnosis has nothing to do with sleep. When you go into a hypnotic state, you're basically not asleep, not awake. And uh, when you're under hypnosis, you remember everything that happens to you. Um, you can come out of it at any stage where you feel uncomfortable. And um, it doesn't harm anybody in any way. I mean, I guess everything changes according to beliefs, etc. As I said again, it depends on the person. Some people, for example, can benefit a lot from it. Some people are more suggestible. By that I mean, if you're suggestible, you go in a hypnotic trance faster than other people. Everything is up to the individual. There is no set limits for that. Well, you have to try it, I guess. Um, I didn't believe it until I tried it, and um, it works. What you basically do during hypnosis is uh, you relax the person to the stage where they enter the theta uh, wave, the brain state, and um, you can take them from anywhere to, you can take them gradually back from one year to three years to whenever the problem started. Normally the subconscious mind takes you straight there. With people who are for the first time, they might not go immediately into hypnosis, it might take several tries. Some people go in like that. Magic and hypnosis have nothing to do with each other. First of all, what is magic? Magic is the power God gave you to use your mind. That's magic to me. Everything else that people use for strange things, this is just the creation of a sick mind. Um, hypnosis has nothing to do with the future or anything else. It's basically here and now to help you deal with difficult situations. It doesn't say go and replace that with a normal doctor or anything else, but it definitely helps with daily stress and things that materialize and we don't know where they came from. Future, no, but you can tell a lot of things. This is something completely different from hypnosis. This is to do with bioenergetic healing, with the meridians of the body and the energy fields. You can sense where areas have been affected by different things, but uh, that's a completely different topic, you know. That and hypnosis have nothing to do with each other. It's a completely different area. Everybody has a different energy, okay? And um, energy comes from one source. I mean, we all know who it is. It was given to us from above. How we use it is up to us. That's also nothing to do with hypnosis. What you do with what you're given, it's up to you. It depends on the kind of person you are. It, it, this can be done through NLP and uh, time life therapy, which normally go with hypnosis as well. Basically, NLP, neuro linguistic programming, is um, it works closely with hypnosis, as I said, and it basically reprograms your mind to get rid of habits and things like that. And necessarily, you don't necessarily have to use it with hypnosis. It goes together. You can do it on its own. Time life therapy is more of a awake state of hypnosis because you're in the here and now and uh, you're taken back a given amount of time there's a certain process that you go through and you come back you resolve the situation while you're wide awake we can try hypnosis on somebody if you want to now I don't have problems we're gonna take you on a brief journey we'll hypnotize you and all you have to do is listen to the sound of my voice close your eyes focus on your breathing 10 and as I count down to 9 you start feeling the back of your head, the front of your face, your eyebrows, your eyelids, your ears. And as I say that, you visualize a staircase in front of you with 10 steps. You're on step 8. As all your upper torso, your arms, your upper legs, all the way down to your knees, are completely relaxed as you go deeper and deeper into relaxation. All you have to do is listen to the sound of my voice. Any outside noise is only going to make you fall deeper into relaxation. Everything you're going to see and, and feel, you're going to remember. At any point, if you feel uncomfortable, you're ready to come back. Just wake up. You see a door. Two. And as you go all the way to that door, all you have to do is open it. Tell me what color is the door, one. Red one. Okay, open the door. 
What do you see? A party. Ex describe it to me. Do you know the time and place? No. Okay. Do me a favor, since we don't have much time. Turn around, close the door behind you tightly, and start going down the stairs. Nine. Did you close the door? Eight. As we're going down, your body starts very slowly coming back to a normal state.